Boom. Peace intro. What's up, guys? Well, finished a couple more customs. Actually, a few. I have uh, Mr. Tapia, 55 gas for try me. I think it's Eddie. We ought to just call him Eddie T. We got Eddie P, Eddie G, and Eddie T. Got his gasser done. Mr. Pruce, Black Widow. I have Mr. Davis's Black Widow done as well. Mr. Billy Jack Davis. Billy Jack. I'm going to take this foot and I'm going to put it on that side of your face. And there ain't a damn thing you can do about it. <laughs> you are, are you? <laughs> Anybody? That was Billy Jack, guys. I know a lot of you guys got to know that. Anybody grew up in the 70s and didn't think Billy Jack was cool, well, you must have been watching too much H&R Puff and stuff or something. Anyway, I'm not going to show Billy Jack's because I, I done a little, I added a little extra thing to it. I don't want him to see till he gets it. He just wanted a regular. He didn't. Mr. Davis stepped up to the hundred. So did Mr. Tapia, Eddie T. And, uh, but I, I added a little something to Mr. Davis's anyway, a little side thing. And, um, I don't want him to see it till he gets it. So anyway, here is Mr. Pruce. There's your baby. Like I said, I didn't have any more of the engines that I put in the last two. So I put my uh, the engines that I do use in there. And, you know, you chop it out in the front so you can... Get the engine to come through. And in, inside's done. See if we can get a look in there. Come on. What's going on? There we go. Nice bottle. Kind of hard to see in there, isn't it? Well, anyway, same old stuff. I think she looks pretty sweet. Mr. Davis, yours came out nice as well. Now, this is the $100 gasser. This is something new I do. I made my own base. That's why she's sitting so high. See her? Look at that front end. Pow. Same engine. Look at that rear end. And get her to focus. I'm able to tie it all together. Drive shaft, engine. I put a cross member under there, under the tranny. But you have to make your own base. Notch it out. Interior. Let's 
see here. See if we can get some shots in there. A nice finish. Anyway, <clears throat> I like those parts a lot better. This is what it is. I get an engine. You get the front assembly. Leaf spring assembly. And then the rear setup all 3d printed you just gotta do a lot of chopping and forming it is a lot of work but it looks good don't you think but uh i just don't really like the base on the 55 gasser it's, it's it's okay i guess but it just ain't i don't know it's just kind of bulk it just don't look right this this i think looks a lot better what do you guys think um, I just make my own base and I attach, I take the piece off the front, piece off the back, glue them to my base after I make it. I use the leaf springs to hold the two, which they are fragile until you get her all locked together. And then, in the back, I put this little sleeve as a coupling for the drive shaft and the tranny. And uh, Traction bar, disc brakes, I don't know if you can see them in there. There you go. But anyway, <clears throat> that's what you... Got to do to get them in there. And then the engines... See that exhaust? Whoop, let me back up. See those headers? See, those don't work. You gotta cut those off. And then you gotta well you gotta uh glue gasser headers on there, see? You gotta glue them gasser headers up in there. They're fragile as well. So you just cut these off gently, save them, use them for something else, and uh, go from there. What do you think, guys? Pretty cool. And uh, hope you like it. This is just a little dragster I made. Pretty sweet. Steering linkage on the side.
anyway there you go guys um i'll send your invoices whenever you're ready and uh mr davis yours is done as well but like i said i'm gonna just send it to you be a surprise hope you guys like them if you if there's something wrong or something let me know and uh see what i can do about it and this is the first time i've done this so you know i don't really see anything wrong but there could be i guess but i tried to line it all up where it looked right you know a little more meat to the back a little more to the front just i don't know like a ripper but uh anyway there you go guys um let me know what you think about these 3d parts here um i mean it is i mean it does you know it, 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 that's what it takes to get rid of that other suspension and then you got to make your own base so to put all that stuff on but i think it's kind of worth it so anyway um Y'all take it easy, and I'll talk to y'all later. Oh, I was going to say something. See them wheels? I had these. But they totally suck. That's a 3D printed. Everything on there is 3D printed. Except them wheels. Those wheels are not 3D. They're off of a Hot Wheel. Everything else is 3D printed, including these. But they are so wobbly and loose, I just couldn't use them. They they just wouldn't, they wouldn't stay, I mean, they just, they suck. So I had to put them other wheels on the back. And uh, that's why they're on there. I mean, I would like to have put these on there. But they, uh, they just, they wobble. Had them on there, and I mean, they are just, they, they just wobble so bad, it's unbelievable. I mean, look at the size of the hole. I don't know if you can see, but that, look at that huge hole. Like, oh my God. I had to stick a giant paper clip through it. And, uh, so anyway, I'll let y'all go now. Later. Peace.